In the world of manufacturing, there's a silent killer lurking in the shadows, and it's not what you might think. It's not a faulty machine or a supply chain disruption. No, it's something far more insidious, product overcosting and undercosting. Now, you might be wondering, what's the big deal? Well, let me tell you, it's a huge deal, and if you're a manufacturing manager, it's something you need to keep a close eye on. Let's break it down. Product overcosting happens when a company spends too much on producing a product. This can occur for various reasons, like poor management, lack of communication between departments, or simply not having a clear understanding of production costs. The result, higher prices for customers and potentially lower quality as companies scramble to maintain margins. On the flip side, we have undercosting, where a company doesn't spend enough on production. This can lead to a situation where the business can't cover its expenses, resulting in financial losses and a damaged reputation. Imagine this scenario, you're a manufacturing manager at a company that prides itself on quality and reliability. You've got a great product and you're ready to launch it. But as the production process unfolds, you realize that one department is taking longer than expected, while another is rushing through tasks to meet deadlines. Without clear standards in place, costs begin to spiral out of control. You end up overcosting your product and suddenly your pricing strategy puts you at a disadvantage in the market. Customers start to look elsewhere, and before you know it, sales begin to dwindle. Now, let's talk about the consequences of overcosting. First and foremost, you risk alienating your customers. If they feel your prices are too high, they'll simply take their business elsewhere. This isn't just a minor inconvenience. It can lead to a significant loss of revenue and profit. And if you're not careful, you could find yourself in a position where you have to make tough decisions, like layoffs or even plant closures. Overcosting can put a strain on your finances, leading to cash flow problems that can cripple your operations. But it's not just about losing customers, it's about reputation. If your business consistently overcharges for its products, word will get around. Customers will start to view your brand as overpriced and out of touch. In the long run, this can have dire consequences. You may find it increasingly challenging to attract new customers, and your existing ones might start to drift away. So, why do some businesses fall into the trap of overcosting? It often boils down to a desire to maximize profits without considering the impact on customers. Some business owners simply don't understand how to price their offerings correctly. They might think that by charging more, they'll make more money, but that's not always the case. The market is competitive, and customers are savvy. If they feel they're being taken advantage of, they won't hesitate to take their business to a competitor who offers a better deal. Now, let's switch gears and talk about undercosting. While it might seem like a quick way to attract customers, it can be just as harmful as overcosting. When a business consistently undercosts its products, it risks not being able to cover its expenses. In the short term, this can lead to losses that damage your reputation and make it harder to attract customers in the future. In the long run, if you can't make a profit, you might find yourself facing the grim reality of business closure. You see, undercosting can create a vicious cycle. As other businesses feel the pressure to compete, they might lower their prices, leading to a race to the bottom. This can cut into profits for everyone involved and make it increasingly difficult for any business to stay afloat. So, while it might seem appealing to underprice your products to attract customers, it's a strategy fraught with risks. Now, you might be asking yourself, is overcosting more dangerous than undercosting? The answer isn't straightforward. It largely depends on the specific circumstances of your business and industry. If you're overcosting, you may miss out on potential sales and revenue. If you're undercosting, you might find yourself unable to cover your costs, leading to financial instability. Both scenarios can be detrimental, and it's crucial to strike a balance. So, how can you recognize if you're overcosting or undercosting? Start by paying attention to customer feedback. If you're losing customers to competitors, it might be time to reevaluate your pricing strategy. Are your prices too high? Are you offering enough value for what you charge? On the flip side, if you're consistently discounting your products to make sales, that's a red flag that you might be undercosting. Now, let's talk about solutions. If you find yourself in a situation where you're overcosting or undercosting, it's essential to take action without damaging your bottom line or reputation. Begin by reviewing your pricing strategy. Are you using the right pricing method for your products? If you're using a cost plus pricing strategy, ensure you're including all relevant costs in your calculations. Compare your prices to competitors and evaluate your cost structure. If your costs are too high, look for areas where you can reduce them without sacrificing quality. Communication is also key. If you've made any price changes, be transparent with your customers. They'll appreciate the honesty and it can help build trust. Remember, it's about finding that sweet spot where your prices are competitive, your costs are covered, and your customers feel they're getting value for their money. When it comes to setting prices, it's crucial to consider your target market. Who are your customers? What are their needs and wants? How much are they willing to spend? This understanding will help you find the right price point 
Consider using a pricing strategy like value-based pricing, where you set your prices based on the perceived value of your product or services. This approach takes into account what your customers are willing to pay and can help you avoid the pitfalls of overcosting and undercosting. Finally, don't forget to do your research. Look at what similar businesses in your industry are charging. This will give you a good starting point for determining your prices. And remember to review your prices regularly as the cost of doing business can change over time. If you suspect that your business is experiencing overcosting or undercosting, don't hesitate to reach out to your accountant. They can help you identify any miscalculations and determine if there are other areas of your business that need attention. Their expertise can be invaluable in navigating these complex issues. In conclusion, manufacturing managers should be acutely aware of the risks associated with product overcosting and undercosting. These pricing strategies can significantly impact your ability to set prices, attract customers, and generate profits. By understanding the consequences of each approach and taking proactive steps to ensure your pricing strategy is sound, you can safeguard your business against these pitfalls. Remember, it's all about finding that balance. Price your products competitively, know your costs, and communicate with your customers. By doing so, you'll be well on your way to maintaining a successful and sustainable manufacturing operation.